Hello, I'm Meredith Bush and I'm a doctoral student at Liberty University studying American Communism and Anti-Communism. I'm glad you've decided to virtually stop by my booth today. Um, for this research, I wanted to get an idea of the denominational perspectives on communism and anti-communism. In this case, I chose the Presbyterian Church and a few subdenominations in particular, the Presbyterian Church in the United States of America, or the PCUSA, the Orthodox Presbyterian Church, or the OPC, which also had a periodical entitled Presbyterian Guardian, which proved very useful, and the OPC spin-off, Bible Presbyterian Church, which was headed up by the so-called fighting fundamentalist um, Carl McIntyre. So this way I got a variety of, of perspectives, albeit limited, given the number of subdenominations that exist in the Presbyterian Church. I started with influential public figures like Eisenhower and John Foster Dulles. Eisenhower joined the Pres Presbyterian Church only after winning the presidential election, but some, some of the clergy did influence his presidency, like Edward Elson and George Doherty. As Eisenhower and these reverends were members of the Peace USA, I continued with that subdenomination, finding a general letter uh, sent out to the membership about communism and the threats it imposes on freedom. I moved on to Reverend Eugene Carson Blake, who also held some esteem in the political sphere. From there, I moved on to the contributors to the OPC's Presbyterian Guardian, like Francis Mahaffey and John P. Cleland. They voiced really well-researched opinions um, and empirical um, articles in that in that publication. And then because Carl McIntyre split off from the OPC to form the Bible Presbyterian Church and further the Columbus Synod, I looked into his work. He spoke out vigorously about the evils of communism and its believers. He thought that the church was inundated with communist sympathizers, and was in favor, he was in favor of the witch hunts both within and outside of the church. He was an outlier in his perspectives compared to the others I studied, but the others agreed on three main principles. The first, that communism is an evil, but Christians should still love its believers and citizens in communist countries as Christ would. Secondly, Christians of the church must fight work to fight communism both at home and abroad. They didn't all agree on how that should be done, though. And thirdly, Christians should guard their hearts against communism's penetrating ideology, but also against the vigilantism that could come from anti-communism that could foster fascism if, in fact, communism were defeated. So there's certainly more work to be done on this topic, which could include other subdenominations, other individuals, congregations, as in the opinions of the actual members, and also televangelism and anti-communism, or the lack thereof, like Billy Graham. So there's a lot more to be done, but um, I think this this was a good way to get started, checking these um, few, few subdenominations and gathering the sort of consensus that they've had.